Hello guys, this is Dr. D. Rajalakshmi, Associate Professor, Computer Science and Engineering Department of RMD Engineering College. Welcome to today's video about sorting techniques. In this video, we are going to see about heap sort algorithm. Heap A heap can be defined as a binary tree with keys assigned to its nodes, one key per node provided the following two conditions are met. Number one, the tree's shape shape requirement. The binary tree is essentially complete, that is all its levels are full except possibly the last level where only some rightmost leaves may be missing. Second condition is the parental dominance requirement. The key at each node is greater than or equal to the keys at its children. Here some examples are given. The first tree diagram is a heap because it is satisfying both the conditions. That is it is satisfying the shape requirement as well as the parental dominance requirement. Here in this first uh, tree all the levels are full. The first level is full. It is containing one element. The next level is full because it is containing two elements and the last level is incomplete that in the last level only the rightmost leaf is missing so its shape requirement is satisfied let us see the parental dominance requirement the parent node the root node is the parent node and its key value is 10 and this key value is greater than the keys available at the children node here it is 5 and 7 similarly 5 is the parent node for the uh, children node with keys 4 and 2. Here 5 is greater than 4 and 2. Here also its parental dominance uh, requirement is satisfied. Similarly here 7 is the parent node and its children node or child node is containing the key value 1. Since 7 is greater than 1 here also the parental dominance requirement is satisfied. So the first tree diagram is a heap. Second tree is not a heap. It is a binary tree but it is not a heap because it is not satisfying the tree's shape requirement because the leftmost tree available or in the last level is missing so it is not a heap and this tree the third tree is satisfying the shape requirement because only the uh, rightmost leaf in the last level is missing uh, other levels are full so it is satisfying the shape requirement but it is not satisfying the parental dominance requirement. Why? Because 5 is the parent node. Its key value is 5. But the children node are containing the key values 6 and 2. Since the 6 is greater than 5, it is not satisfying the parental dominance requirement. So this is not a heap. Some important properties of heap. There exists exactly one egg essentially complete binary tree with n nodes its height is equal to log n base 2. The root of a heap always contain its largest element. The node of a heap considered with all its descendants is also a heap. A heap can be implemented as an array by recording its elements in the top down left to right fashion. Heaps array representation here uh, it stores heaps elements in an array whose elements indexed for convenience 1 to n in top down left to right order example here this is the heap given and its array representation is given here uh, it can be um, represented in top to bottom left to right manner the very first element in the top level is 9 9 is stored in the array and in the next level two elements are there those two elements are going to be stored or copied from left to right manner so 5 is copied into the array then 3 is copied into the array then the next level of elements will be copied from left to right manner 1 4 and 2 so 1 4 and 2 in this way the uh, heaps array representation can be written the left to child of node i is at 2i right child of node j is at 
to j plus 1. Parent of node j is at j by 2. Parental nodes are represented in the first n by 2 locations. Now let us see the heap construction. We have two methods for constructing a heap. First method is called as bottom up heap construction. Second method is top down heap construction. Let us see about bottom up heap construction. The very first step it initializes the essentially complete binary tree with n nodes by placing keys in the order given and then heapifies the tree as follows. Starting with the last parental node and ending with the root, the algorithm checks whether the parental dominance holds for the key at this node. If it does not, the algorithm exchanges the node's key k with the larger key of its children and checks whether the parental dominance holds for k in its new position. The process continues until the parental dominance requirement for k is satisfied. After completing the heapification of the subtree rooted at the current parental node, the algorithm proceeds to do the same for the node's immediate predecessor. The algorithm stops after this is done for the tree's root. Example of heap construction. So the given elements are a list of elements are given to us. The given list is containing 2, 9, 7, 6, 5 and 8. These elements are constructed as a tree, binary tree. So the elements are copied from left to right, top to down manner. 2 is copied into the root node. 9 and 7 are copied from left to right manner in the next level. Then 6, 5, 8 are copied in the third level. Now, uh, according to bottom up heap construction, the last parental node 7 is checked whether it is satisfying the parental dominance characteristics or not. Here the key value is 7 but its child's key value is 8. So the 7 and 8 are swapped. So 8 is coming here, 7 is available here. Now according to heap construction, bottom up heap, heap construction algorithm, the control moves to the previous element. Now this is the previous parent node. So here we have to check the parental dominance characteristic of this line. For that we have to consider this part of the tree. Here the key value is 9 and keys available at their children are 6 and 5. So since 9 is greater than 6 and 5, parental dominance requirement is satisfied for this node 9. Now according to uh, bottom up heap construction, we are moving up to the previous parent node. The previous parent node is 2. Now its parental dominance characteristics is needed to be checked. If the key value is 2, but the children node or containing key values 9 and 8, they are greater than 2. So the parental dominance characteristic is not satisfied. So this key value will be swapped with the key value of the larger largest key value of its children okay so 9 is the largest key value so that is swapped with 2 so 2 comes here 9 is available here now this process must be continued until this value 2 is placed in its correct position now 2 here the children are containing larger values so 2 must be swapped with the larger uh, children's key value so 2 and 6 are swapped, 6 comes here and 2 goes here. Now 2 is in its right position. Now the heap is constructed using bottom up heap construction algorithm. Now this is the pseudocode of bottom up heap construction. In the very first step n by 2 is copied into i where n by 2 represents the position of the last parent node. It's Key value is copied into V. Its position is stored in K. And heap is a Boolean variable. Initially, it is initialized with false. While this heap is containing false and 2 into K is less than or equal to N, do. When both the conditions are true, 
this while loop will be repeated. So j is equal to 2 into k. Okay. And j is, if j is less than n, then there are two children. Now we are comparing key values of both the children and larger key value is going to be kept and, and that is going to be compared with the key value which is available in the parent. If the parent's key value is greater than the key value of its child, then heap is, we are setting heap as true. Otherwise, we are copying the key value, larger key value of its children into the parent's uh, uh, key values position and we are replacing k by j. This will be repeated. This process will be repeated. At last, the value of v is copied into h of k. So, in this way, bottom-up heap construction algorithm is working. Now, heap sort. There are two stages in heap sort. The very first stage is constructing a heap for the given array. Here we can use either bottom-up approach or otherwise top-down approach. The second stage is applying the root deletion operation n minus 1 number of times to the remaining heaps. So deleting an element from the heap contains three steps. In the first step, we have to exchange the roots key value with the last key k of the heap. Then step 2, decrease heap size by 1. And in the step 3, we have to heapify the smaller tree by shifting k down the tree. Verify the parental dominance for k. If it holds, we are done. If not, swap k with the larger of its children and repeat this operation until the parental dominance condition holds for k in its new position. Now, this is the um, array representation of both the stages of heap sort algorithm. So, stage 1 heap construction stage and this is what is the array representation of all the steps. And stage 2 is the uh, root deletion or maximum element deletion uh, removal stage. And here uh, these are all the array representation of the steps of stage 2. In this way, the given set of elements can be sorted in order, in ascending order using heap sort. And analysis of heap sort. Since uh, heap sort is containing two stages, we have to analyze the algorithm based on both the stages. Stage 1 is building heap for the given list of n keys. Its complexity is theta of n. Stage 2 is the repeat operation of root removal n minus 1 times and its worst case efficiency is theta of n log n. So the overall efficiency of heap sort algorithm is theta of n log n. And heap sort algorithm is in place and it is it is not satisfying the stability. Stability is no. It is not a stable algorithm. Thank you.